similar to just an expense form or check, right? Expense or check form, but it would be a pay a pay uh, payroll liabilities check, similar to what we saw when we have like a uh, pay bill type of check, right? It's still a check, but it has a, its own kind of designation when we look at it in the transaction detail. However, because this is a practice problem and we once again want to tie into what we see on the bank reconciliations, we're just going to do manual entries here. So you wouldn't really want to do manual entries entering a manual check. You would want to use the widget so that everything is done within QuickBooks because that makes it so your reports will will run smoothly. And just note the payroll, the whole widget system within QuickBooks works pretty well. Everything everything gets set up and works well. But if you mess something up and you have to do something outside of the payroll system, you can throw things off, right? And then you, and then it becomes kind of a problem to get back in line with everything running through the widget. That's one of the not so great things about everything being completely automated because it's difficult to make an adjustment <laughs> that's not part of the automated system, right? So I just want to point that out. But for our practice problem purposes, we're just going to write a check. And basically the idea is going to be that we're writing checks to pay off the payroll liability in January. And then the, the February payroll liability that has accrued will remain on the books. And we will pay that off in the following month uh, which would be March, which is outside the scope of our practice problem. So the January payroll left us with 2028.48. We're just going to think of it in total of a liability. And so that's the amount that we're basically going to pay off, leaving us with the difference between these two left, which would be the payroll that was accrued in February. That's the idea. Now we're going to do this with three separate paychecks that are not going to tie out exactly to these totals because we're trying to use something that's going to tie out to our practice problem for the bank reconciliations. So we're going to do a little bit of a deviation. Let's go to the first tab. Instead of doing this, we're just going to hit the drop down and just do a normal check, which you wouldn't to normally do for payroll. And we're going to say this is going to be, I'm going to say the, the first one, I'm just going to call it IRS. And I'm going to say FIT. This is a generic vendor that we're going to be setting up to pay the payroll taxes to the government, federal income tax. I'm going to save it. And it's going to be the checking account. Okay. And we're going to pay it on 0229, let's say uh, 24. And then the other category, I'm going to put it into the adjustment account. If I go back on over here, you can see we have the payroll liability adjustment. I'm going to put it in there as kind of our summary account instead of decreasing each one of these, as would be the case if we used the widget so we can kind of see what's happening broken out in different accounts. So I'm going to call it payroll liability adjustment. So we'll just call it payroll liability adjustment. And so that'll be the first payment that we make. I'm going to make that one for 1080. And so this is just going to decrease the checking account and the other side is going to pay down the liability and that liability adjustment. And then I'm going to make another one hitting the drop down. I want to save and new. And so this one, I'm just going to make another vendor for, I'm going to call it IRS Medicare, which is one that you would probably pay at the same time. Social Security and Medicare, both part of the, the FICA uh, taxes, but I'm going to break it out for here and then tab because it'll match what's in our bank reconciliations. And so we're going to say duh, duh, duh. this is going to be once again, the payroll liability, payroll liability adjustment account, payroll liability, pay roll liability adjustment account. And that one I'm going to say is for 82 point five two eighty two dollars and fifty two cents and i'm gonna do one more save and new and so we'll do one more i'm gonna call it irs social security and tab and i'll just add that one same date and we're gonna say this is gonna go into payroll tax liability uh payroll tax 
liability, where did it go? There it is. And then we'll make that one for once again, uh, this time, 865.94. Okay, so let's go ahead and say save and close this time. And then if I go back to my balance sheet and run it, run this report, then in the liability accounts, we have kind of a mess, but we basically stuffed everything into this account here. So this is the taxes that accumulated in January, adding up to 2028.48. And then we paid those off in February in this adjustment account. In practice, if we used the widget, all of these would be, of course, credited individually in the following month, right? We would, we would decrease each individual uh, account if we broke it out into its own category and the widget would help us to apply that uh, check out. But in our problem, we just used a normal check and so we can see it a little bit more transparently, we put it into this account. So this account, we've got the three checks that we wrote. So we've got the three checks are uh, this one, the 82.52 plus the 1080. Okay, one is missing. I think I put it to the wrong account. So I'm gonna go, I think it went into the tax account. So if I go into the tax account, I put it into the payroll tax adjustment. And if I go into this one, it was this uh, 865.94, which was that check. So I should have put that into the liability. So I'm gonna drill down on it and fix it. So I'm gonna say this one needs to go to payroll liability adjustment account, not the payroll expense. And then I'll save and close that and then back and then go back to the balance sheet, run it again and then scroll down and we should see then in the payroll adjustment going into the payroll adjustment account. We then have our three checks, which are the 